One thing growing in acceptance now, using psychedelics to treat and even cure depression. New studies are showing it's possible. Now, the Seattle City Council just passed a resolution last month offering unanimous support for decriminalizing pers for personal use, growing, and even gifting of things like magic mushrooms. Yeah, and now people are sharing their experiences with taking and even regularly microdosing mushrooms. Camera 7's DD Sun spoke with people who say psychedelics have changed their lives. 32-year-old Dana Phillips is mom to two girls. She also microdoses psychedelic mushrooms regularly. We powderize our mushroom and then we um, just put it in a little capsule. If I wake up feeling kind of stressed out and anxious that day, I'll just take a little microdose. So a lot of people would be surprised to hear a mom is microdosing on mushrooms. Yes, yeah, oh definitely. And that's part of the reason why I haven't really shared my story either. The 60s counterculture movement gave psychedelics a bad rap. Mushrooms and LSD were labeled as dangerous party drugs that could melt your mind. Now all of that is changing. Dana takes mushrooms therapeutically. She's been struggling with depression for the past decade. It is your darkness. And, so. and after the birth of her first child, Beverly, her depression worsened. So I actually um, got to a point where I was having um, I was having really, really hard thoughts about not really wanting to exist. She says while therapy helped, it just never really went away. Eventually, she and her husband started researching psychedelics as an option for treating depression. A quick search and you'll find long lists of videos on YouTube, many of them recapping scientific studies, explaining how psilocybin, the active compound that makes mushrooms magic, can impact the mind. With psilocybin treatment, we were seeing immediate reductions in depression symptoms, immediate relief that lasted for months without side effects. Then on this past Mother's Day, Dana's husband surprised her with magic mushrooms. And I was like really nervous. So I was like, okay. They blitz the mushrooms, not a microdose, but what's called a mega or hero dose, into a smoothie, drank it, and waited. What were the first effects that you started noticing? You know when you get really big butterflies and nerves or whatever? Like you kind of get that all over your body and stuff. And everyone's different. Dana says the experience was profound and immediate. I won't ever look at my depression in the same way ever again. Yeah. And I really processed through a lot of, a lot of trauma. If it sounds far-fetched to you, maybe a bit too magical, here's the theory on how it works. Scientists believe conditions like depression and anxiety, even things like PTSD and addiction, can create certain neurological paths in your brain. The thought patterns can become ingrained and hard to break. One idea is that psychedelics can break those patterns and allow neural networks to connect in ways people cannot achieve by themselves. I remember telling my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I just feel so alive and he's like, you're back. Like, thank you for coming back to me. Dana's experience treating her depression is considered illegal. But now in Seattle, city council has unanimously passed a resolution supporting decriminalization. The motion carries, the resolution is adopted. We were extremely excited. Ben Sercom volunteers with Decrim Nature Seattle. It's a grassroots group that's been fighting to get psychedelics decriminalized for years. He's embracing Seattle's new stance and showed Cairo 7 how he's setting up a psychedelic mushroom grow. I wanted to show my face and let people know a little bit more about the process of growing because it's not this big, bad, scary drug that I think a lot of people maybe associate with it. He used mushroom spores, essentially the fungi's seeds, and started growing them in jars of wheat berries. So what we have is a sterilized substrate, a coir. He mixes it all up and says in about a month, psychedelic mushrooms will start to grow. Ben says these mushrooms have changed his life. He used to suffer from depression and anxiety and took an antidepressant called Celexa. What I found was that antidepressants weren't working for me and it just made me feel so dull to the world. You're looking at. But similar to Dana's experience, a mushroom trip changed his perspective. Now, in clinical trials, the guided psychedelic experiences did not work for everybody. But in all the studies conducted by major universities, most patients showed lasting improvement. Even four years later, one NYU study found. Dana says that's why she wanted to share her story. I really want people to see how much this helps. And like it 
makes me emotional because I know there's so many other people in this space of feeling like they're stuck. It's just time. It's time to shed the light. Some people are worried magic mushrooms will lead to increased DUIs like we saw with marijuana. But when I tried to find experts who are against decriminalizing this psychedelic, I could not find strong opposition. In Seattle, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News. Hmm.